Hey guys, Derek Pierce here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to start a blog so that you can start making money from it. Now, this is gonna be a sort of a technical type tutorial where I'm gonna show you the exact process. Don't worry, it's not hard at all. But before we get started, before we dig in, I should let you know there's two parts to this whole process. So there's the domain name, and then you have the actual hosting. So when you buy or register a domain name, that is gonna give you access to that domain name for at least a year. So primarily we're using GoDaddy or Namecheap or someone like that. That's usually nine, 10 bucks a year, depending on what you what kind of domain name you buy. And then you have the hosting. The, the hosting that we're gonna be using in this scenario is a company called Bluehost. Now this is super simple to do and Bluehost is very simple to walk through this entire process with, but that is the two parts that we're gonna be working with. So when you re reserve your domain name, then you have to point that to your hosting account so that way you can publish your blog to the World Wide Web and that's exactly what I'm gonna be showing you in this process. So let's go ahead, let's dig in. All right, so you can see I am in my GoDaddy account and I've already registered this domain for the sake of time for this project, DerekPierceTraining.com. And we'll be using this here in just a moment. I'm gonna leave this right here. But what you wanna do is if you've not already registered for hosting, then what you wanna do is click on the link below this video that's inside the description and it'll take you to a site that looks a little something like this called Bluehost. And if you've never signed up for hosting before, this is what you gotta have again to get this published out to the web. So all you do is you simply click get started and this is gonna take you to a page where you select your plan. You've got basic plus and then choice plus. Now I recommend at least going with the plus plan and the reason why is you're able to add additional domains to your account. If you have a basic plan, you're only allowed to host that one domain name. So if you are planning on building out this one domain name, and that's fine. But if you're planning on adding maybe one or two later on, then you wanna go ahead and just upgrade to the plus. And what you'll do is you'll simply click select and this is going to walk you through this whole process of where, you, uh, where you're able to just sign up for a new account. And so where it says new domain or I have a domain name, this is where you put in your domain name that you registered through GoDaddy. And I recommend GoDaddy over sending this up inside of Bluehost. So what we do is we simply click next and this is going to ask you to create your account and you just walks you through this process. Very simple to do. Okay, now I've already done this. I already have an account set up. Once you get this set up and once you buy this package, it's going to email you uh, some details. And one of the things that you want to look out for is that email, that welcome email, it's gonna give you something called name servers. Now these name servers are what you use to point to your new hosting account, okay? So when you go back here, you're gonna get those name servers, you're gonna go back into your domain manager here at GoDaddy, and you're going to update it. And the way you update it is you go to manage DNS, okay? And this is gonna take you to a page that looks a little something like this. And what we want to do is we want to scroll down right here where it says name servers. And this is where we're going to be changing these. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click change and we're going to then select custom. And then we are going to add our name server. So it's going to be ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com. So those are the name server names that you're going to be getting whenever you register through Bluehost. And once you do that, you simply click save, okay? Now, what that's gonna do now is that's going to point to your new hosting account within uh, Bluehost. And so now what we gotta do is we've gotta add the domain name into our Bluehost account if you've got an account like mine where you've registered several domain names and assigned several domain names inside your one account. Now, if you've just set this up first, then all you gotta do is just create your account and Bluehost will walk you through the entire process step by step of the way. However, like I said, if you've got one of these accounts already established, then uh, you're like me, you've already got domain names assigned to it, then what you have to do is you have to assign the domain name and then install the blog from there, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do in this next part. All right, so this is what the page looks like when it's pointed toward Bluehost, but we've not added our domain name in our Bluehost account yet. 
So you can see this is what the domain name looks like. It's just pointed to a default Bluehost page. So now what we wanna do is we wanna add the domain name into our Bluehost account. And the way we do that is we log into our, what's called our cPanel. You're given access to this whenever you have bought your Bluehost package. So you log into that and you will go to this main screen here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to the domain manager. And what we're gonna do is we're going to click here to assign uh, a new domain to our cPanel, which is this right here, this option, assign a domain to your cPanel. We're gonna click on this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter our domain name. So in this case, it's DerekPierceTraining.com. And what's gonna happen is, is this has to verify. So that's why we wanted to go ahead, if we're using GoDaddy, we wanted to, to change the name servers first is because this is going to verify the ownership through these name servers and prove that you actually have this pointed already at Bluehost. So then you select what you want. You want this as an add-on domain or what, what uh, parked or unassigned domain. So we're gonna add this as an add-on domain. And then you're going to be given a directory. As you can see right here, we're gonna click assign this domain. And this is going to be assigned to our account. So that's all there is to it as far as assigning our domain name to our Bluehost account. Now what we do is once this gets uh, once this gets assigned, it takes us just a second here to go through, but once this gets assigned, now we're gonna go in and we're gonna install the WordPress blog. So I'll see you in just a moment. All right, so once the domain has been added, what you wanna do is you wanna go back to the home page of your cPanel and you're gonna be looking for a button that says install WordPress. Now, if you don't see this, if you're sitting in here in Bluehost, then you will see if I click on this website tab, you'll see it goes away. But if I click on this, you'll see there's a tab that appears called website and you'll see install WordPress. So what we were gonna do is we're just gonna click on this and this is gonna walk us through the WordPress installation. Now WordPress, again, is an open source platform. It's a blog platform, but we can make this blog do anything we want. If we want this to be a local business, if we want this to be a review site, it does not matter. We can turn it into whatever we want to, and I'll explain how that works here in just a moment. So I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna select my domain name, and then we will install this WordPress blog. Okay, so I've selected my domain name. I'm gonna leave the directory blank because I just want it at the root domain. And you can see down here at the bottom, you've got some let a pro do it for you. Don't worry about any of this stuff right here. Uh, you don't need any of that. And also I unchecked this Monster Insights contact form plugins as well as opt-in Monster because this is just installing some additional plugins that you really don't need. So once we select the domain, we simply click next. And this just takes us through this process where it's going to install WordPress for us. So uh, you can see right here, install directory exists and is not empty. Please confirm that it's safe to override any content in this directory. So I'm just gonna click, I confirm that it's okay to override. I've never installed WordPress on this uh, directory. So I'm not going to, I'm not worried about overriding anything because this is a brand new domain name. So we're gonna click next. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to give us a username and a password as you can see right here. Now this right here, we wanna change the site title. And so for this one, we would be whatever our brand name is. So in this case, I have the domain name Derek Pierce Training, so I'm just gonna title it Derek Pierce Training. We can change this later on. And uh, if you wanted to include your keyword in there, that's fine. But mainly what we wanna do is we wanna focus on building out a brand whenever we're starting a brand new website. So then we uh, put in the username, then we got the, the password. Uh, and then, by the way, we are gonna be changing that after this uh, video is set, all said and done. So uh, we automatically create a new installation. I understand that we're installing the same domain, we're overriding any files, and I've read the terms of service. And all we have to do now is just simply click Next. And this is going to install WordPress for us with this username and password. Okay, so you can see WordPress is installing here at the top. Uh, you can browse uh, thousands of items. It will not interrupt your service. I don't really wanna do that. You can see our overall site progress is 45%. So this takes us just a couple of minutes to install this. As I was saying before, just because you're installing a blogging software, don't think of this just like a blog because you can install themes to make these look any way that you want. You can install plugins to give them the functionality that you want. And so really this can be any type of website that you wanna be. If it's an influencer type website, if it's a local business website, 
any kind of you know any kind of operation that you could possibly think of you can uh, you can build it inside of WordPress so you can see right here we have install installation is complete continue browsing the marketplace or views the credentials here so we're just gonna click here and this will take us to our installation so you can see installation details domain Derek Pierce training and then we've got our username and we've got our password and again they're still trying to sell you this other stuff uh, just ignore all of that okay so what you're gonna do is now it's time to customize this site so if we go right here to Derek Pierce training.com you will see what this looks like it's gonna take us to the login we're just gonna take and grab our login right here copy that and then we're gonna copy this password and this is going to log us into the dashboard I'm gonna show you what this looks like uh, first and foremost before you do anything so you'll see you know what you're gonna be looking at whenever you uh, whenever you have this first starting out so if we just click over here and go to visit site you can see this looks just like a blog so you can see the hello world you click on here nothing special about it no logo or anything like that where you're gonna change the look and feel of this site is during the in the appearance tab so you can see right here where it says appearance and if you go right here to themes, themes are what's gonna give your site the look and feel that you're after. So you can see here in just a moment, we're gonna be looking at some different themes that will give this a completely different look. Now some themes you can pay for that are premium themes that give you all kinds of different functionalities and give you all kinds of different looks. Then you've got uh, some of them that are free themes. So if we just go right here and we click add new theme, now we can upload a theme if we want like if we bought something then we can upload that theme here or we can just do a search and we can look and see what all's here and i'm just going to click on one of these and you can just i'm just going to pick this the four light just because it's right here so we can just click install and then uh, we'll activate it and once this is activated you will see our website looks completely different and again i'm just showing you this just to show you how the you know, changing the theme changes the whole look of the website so you can see what we did there with just using themes so a couple of places that you can look at is themeforest.com uh, I buy themes from there if you go right here and you look at the uh, WordPress items you can look at the popular items you can see some uh, really good themes that you can pick from there another theme set that I like is uh, using studio press as well that they're a really good theme set uh, the cool part about these is you're able to in, in most of these cases you're able to take and look at a complete demo of a site and you can install the theme and then you can install all the demo content and just switch the content out so that way you've got a fully functional website without having to go in and do any really custom coding you just basically switch out the text and the images and that's all you have to worry about okay so that is uh the themes that is where you are going to completely change the look of your website so the best thing to do is go to theme forest and look at some themes and see which one matches what you're wanting to achieve with your website and with your business pick something that's comparable for that and then just switch out the images switch out the text based on what it is that you're looking for another theme set that I really like that's very easy to use is thrive themes they've got drag and drop a drag and drop editor where you can add video you can add all kinds of different functionalities to the uh, to the website and I'll include a link below for thrive themes as well now you will also notice under the appearance tab you will also notice you have a plugins tab now what plugins do is this adds functionality to the website and really you can do anything that you want within WordPress with the plugins tab so we use plugins for SEO we use plugins for building out contact forms and like I said before you can create you can find a plugin to create literally anything that you want with your website so hopefully this video has helped you get started in building a blog and getting started making money online I know for me personally it's been one of the best things that I've ever done as a matter of fact if you don't know my story then basically I started with over hundred thousand dollars in credit card debt I started learning how to do affiliate marketing and affiliate SEO and that's why you're seeing this video here and that's why I'm sharing this 
story with you and showing you how to build a blog and how to start a blog from scratch, even if you don't know any kind of coding or anything like that. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, check out more of my videos. And if you want to get started with your first blog, then be sure to check out the links in the uh, description below for the uh, hosting options as well as the uh, themes that I recommend. I look forward to seeing you guys and look forward to seeing what you guys build. Take care and I'll see you real soon.